Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today it's Sunday and I'm excited even though I haven't been sleeping well. Sam and I are in the car again and I'm gonna tell you where we're going. Okay, so Sylvia and I have plans today. Hopefully if it doesn't rain, super fun plan, something that's been a part of my dream and a part of her dream in the equestrian world for a long time. We're gonna get it started today and we're gonna ask for your guys' help and suggestions, but so that's the plan. But we are headed to TSC, Sam and I, for no ulterior motive. It's called PV Mart. PV Mart in Canada. So it's tractor supply for you guys. But anyways, so before this vlog gets started, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story and I hate talking in the car for five hours at the beginning of a vlog, but here we go. So this is an example of how every moment in your life matters. Every single minuscule thing that happens to you has a part, a plan in a part of your life. So three days ago, I was in a hurry. We had to be at the barn to meet the chiropractor and I had to, the equine chiropractor, and I had to like get dressed and I had to feed the horses and knock the stalls. But not only did I have to do that, I had to like straighten up the house a little bit so that when we came home, it wasn't a huge mess. I had so many things to do. And a big problem in our house is that Gabby is a bathroom stealer. We have one bathroom, Gabby steals it. So this day, I couldn't be patient. I couldn't wait and I kept saying, Gabby, you need to get out of the bathroom. Gabby, go get dressed in your bedroom and let me finish getting ready because I have things I have to do. I can't just be sitting here waiting for the bathroom. And she was just, you can't hurry, Gabby. So I finally, after waiting and waiting and then getting frustrated, I screamed at Gabby. I said, Gabby, get out of the bathroom. I have to get in there. And then as soon as I screamed at her, and as I was screaming at her, I reminded myself that I do not want to be the parent that screams at my kids because screaming at your kids can cause so many issues. I want to be the parent that teaches my kids how to respond to certain situations, negative situations. And so as soon as I stopped screaming at her, I said, Gabby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scream at you. You did not deserve to be screamed at. I was frustrated. What can I do to make you feel better about it? <laughs> I might have I might have bribed her just a little because I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to talk it out for five hours Gabby was not very affected by me screaming at her She didn't care that much, but it mattered to me because I don't want to scream at my kids. So Gabby thought about it. We went about our day. Everything was fine. There was no issue Everything was going well until later in the day and Gabby came up to me and she said I lost my iPod case and I said where did you have it last? And she said, on this couch. And she said, I will forgive you for screaming at me today if you help me find it. I said, deal! <laughs> so we ripped apart our whole entire couch. I even cut the underside of it looking for her iPod case. I pulled the entire couch out. We took all the cushions off. We reached in behind everything. We cleaned out that couch so beautifully. And we couldn't find it. And then I looked in the dining room and then I went upstairs and I looked, I looked all over my house and we could not find her iPod case. She literally said, she was sitting on the couch and she couldn't find her iPod case. So time went on and she said, and we couldn't find it. We just couldn't find it. And we had to accept defeat, but Gabby forgave me anyways. So then two days later, I was so tired. This is one, something you guys might not know about me, but I can't handle being tired if I can't. If I get tired, I can't handle the world, right Sam? I'm like, oh, so awful. So uh, the, so two nights later, I was talking to my friend and I was frustrated and I got mad at her. And I don't like to be the person that gets mad at people or gets mad at my friends. And I couldn't even like fix it. I was so tired and grouchy and miserable that I couldn't even like fix it with my friend. I had to finally say, okay, like I have to go to bed. We'll have to deal with this tomorrow. Like I can't deal with it anymore. And this is not a common thing for me. And I don't usually have bad days two times in a row. But I did, and I woke up this morning, and I said to God, God, am I gonna be able to fix this with my friend? Because last night was just awful. I was tired, she was tired, we were so grouchy. It just was a bunch of miscommunication, and we both got frustrated. Am I gonna be able to fix this with my friend? And I sat down on the couch, and I picked up my purse, and I put my hand in there, and I reached down, and I grabbed for something, and I don't even know what I was grabbing for and I pulled something out and it was Gabby's AirPod case. And I knew right that second that God was telling me that my friend was gonna forgive me for being upset the night before. And I knew in my heart that everything was gonna be okay because he used that iPod case as a sign. What do you think of that, Sam? You 
thinks I'm crazy. But I'm telling you, this is the way God works. This is the way life works. Every little tiny thing oh, matters. It, it, it has a significance and it's in paying attention to the details of your life. The little teeny tiny things that really help you live a guided life. A guided life is what you do, what you live when you pay attention to God, signs and your dreams and everything that happens to you and you piece it together. And it's a hard thing to learn to do, but once you do it, you live a guided life. And I can assure you that if you're walking around in life right now and you feel lost and alone and don't know where you're going and you don't know what you're supposed to be doing and you feel like you're lost, Try living a guided life. It's like instructions for life. It's like a roadmap for your life. It's like incredible. And I want that for all of you guys. And I want that for Sam too. <laughs> He's not good at it. <laughs> and I don't think we all are good at it. But I recognized the minute that I pulled out that iPod case that I would associate, God knew that I would associate me finding that case on the day that I needed it to reassure me that I would be okay with my friend. And I called her minutes later and I said, listen, what do you want me to do for this to be all better? And she gave me, <laughs> she gave me something to do. And I said, okay, done, I will do that. And then we forgot about it and we let it go. So anyway, that is a long story to explain. I checked that. Yeah. Sam checked my purse when she lost it. Gabby checked my purse and I gave that iPod case to Gabby today and she said, where did you find it? I said it was in my purse. And she's like, no, it was not in your purse. I'm like, I swear to God, I don't even know why I reached in my purse. I reached in there and just pulled it out. Like, it, and I was like, oh, and Sam was like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, so we didn't have to buy her a new one. And she forgave me and my friend forgave me. And that's the last thing I'm gonna say is that you might be thinking, Laura, why wouldn't you learn not to be mad at people? And God continues to put things in front of you until you perfect it. And just when you're getting really, really, really good at learning how to deal with a certain situation, he gives you a Raleigh Link video to make you really good at it. <laughs> Sam wants a new one of these. I've not had good luck with these. But it's only $500. New one, new, new one would work good. So I'll show you what I want. You want to see what I want? Sure, let's look. A little motorcycle. Nope, don't want that. Gabby would want that. Gabby would want that for sure. Yeah, let's get that, you guys. It's a snowblower. It's not snowblower, it's a... What's that? That's something different. That's to cut. Oh, it's a dune buggy. Let's get that. It's to cut logs and stuff. I hate how they keep dune buggies outside and then you buy it brand new and it's like all dirty. That's cool though, like that's cool. What I want is way over here. I want, I want this. <laughs> I don't actually want this, I want something better. I want, we're, we're, we need to do like a nice chicken coop this year. This year is the year of the chicken coop. Oh, you can't even open it. But it's cute, I like it. I love that. You see it, what I want? No, not a new lawnmower. Oh. That's a cute one. I don't know. Like, then you have to like... Can't open it. Where did they put the... Oh, not this way? Yeah, I like it. I mean, you have to duck to go in there, you but still. Door, yeah. Come on, let's go in. So, everybody's tractor supply has baby chicks, but not ours. Or at least, I'm gonna see. Because I've been feeling like I want chicks so bad. But I don't tell Sam that stuff. <gasps> That's the one! I love it! Mother's Day is coming up. I don't actually love it. It's small. It's cute though. Like, I feel like these ones don't last. Display only. Wow. I like it. It's got a metal roof. Our chickens would love that. Oh, Sam bought some fun stuff and he's going to make us a new feeder for our chickens. But I really like this. That's not 20 bucks. It says 20 bucks, but it's not. Like, that's cool. Sophie wants that. I do not know how much this is, but that is cool. No, it's for food. Oh, that's a waterer? <gasps> that's cool. Yeah, those are cute little chicken feeders. Indoor, outdoor. A hundred dollars. There's a waterer. Oh, they're cute though. Just hard to fill up. We have to bring ours inside to fill it up. But look at my coop. Look at I found a coop. Chick starter kit. Look. 
What are you getting? Because you probably need a new light bulb. Does it have food? No, it just got everything else. So, I'll show you what he got when we get home. Look at this chicken coop. It's my favorite. You like it? Oh. Flimsy, yeah. Like we want to. He wants to get a shed and build it into a chicken coop. That's the plan for this year. That's also cool too. No oh, baby chicks. I knew it. Look at here's the bottle we would have needed if Sophie actually got her baby foal the other day. If you didn't see it, we made a video of Sophie. We pranked her that we were getting a baby foal, and it was pretty funny. All right, we are at another store now, and Sam is into the whole raspberry. Oh yeah, we need to get them. Oh, they are cute. I love them. These are rumbus. Rumbus. I love oh, a good geez. raspberry bush. And I like strawberry plants too. What? Thornless raspberries. So I'm still looking for baby chicks, you guys. Sam and I have been together for over 20 years and he still doesn't know how I work. Basically, we are out today looking for baby chicks because I just want two. I just want two baby chicks until mine hatch and um, he just thinks we're out shopping. So at this store, what'd you get, Sam? Got some raspberry. Raspberries? Both raspberries? Yeah. Raspberry plants. Grow this year, damn it. Last year we bought one from somebody that was already... They died. It died, but now it buying it this way and planting it early is better. And we also got some chicken starter. Hmm. See, you guys see how it works? Even the store that always has eggs, chickens, doesn't have any chickens, you guys. I'm not meant to buy chickens today. You couldn't find any chicks anywhere. I just want two chicks and I really want these two specific chicks. So I phoned my friend and said, hey, do you have two chicks to sell that are this breed? And she said, well, yes, yes I do. So I was able to say, Sam, let's swing by my friend's house for a minute. So we are at my friend's house and I'm getting some chicks. <laughs> now we get to surprise the girls. Like, I had no idea that we'd be able, I'd be able to pull this off this morning. I just woke up knowing that I needed a couple of chicks. All right, this is them. Taking them home. Gabby won't care, but Sophie will care. All right, look how cute. So these are Cochin chickens. You guys know I told you that my Cochins are my dream Cochins dream chickens I love them so this where we got these ones they have like a buff one they're really gorgeous their cochins are totally different than mine totally different colors I really wanted a buff one and these are probably aren't gonna be buff they're probably gonna be like I don't even know how to describe their color I should have taken a picture I'll take a picture another day of the parents and we'll see what they're gonna look like I want a rooster and I want a hen because I want to hatch cochins again and I want my color of cochins because I love them. So I took a picture of me like this and sent it to the girls and they didn't either get it or they didn't respond because Sophie would have been excited and said like, hey, what did you get? Because she'll be excited. So we're gonna just sneak in now and see if she notices. You labeled your AirPod cases so I told them all about how you lost your- I swear to God. No. Prank her. Okay, well let's prank her first. Wait, where is Sophie? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. Where is Sophie? Wait, can I hold this one? Yeah, just wait, just wait. Just wait. You can pick that one after. Sophie! Oh my god. I'm not very good at listening. It's a coaching. I got all the stuff we needed to set up our chicken stuff. Baby! You noticed? Well, they're, well, it's kind of hanging oh. out. She loves me. Oh, oh. See, I labeled my AirPods. How so many did you get? Two. Well, give me the other one. That one moves around. Oh, I know, no. Gabby's AirPods one and Gabby's AirPod two. So why did you throw such a fit? Everybody wants to know why was it so important to find your AirPods the other day? Because they were my favorite ones. She lost her favorite ones, you guys. Tore the whole house apart, made it life miserable like for them. all of us. I Mom. I was dying to get two. It just pooped on me. <laughs> it did not poop on me. I don't know if we showed you this yesterday, but we came home from our day at the barn and Sam had bought us a lily. A gorgeous lily. 
That's for all of us? Yeah, beautiful Lily. I make the choice to throw it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Operation Play with Baby Chicks is underway. Um, I put the dogs in their cage so that they don't um try and kill them. Because Ruby grabs them. Because, you know. She, she doesn't, but she would if we weren't watching them. Wait, I need to... No, we'll send photo to him. Oh, my God. <laughs> One's trying. <laughs> these ones are going to be like really friendly because they're going to. Mm -hmm. So these are purebred cochin chickens. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. So the parents are like, one of them is buff. <laughs> that one's hungry, I think. Which I really, yeah, I got all the stuff. We bought all new stuff for these guys, for our chickens. I just have to go find the container. For them, we're gonna set them this all one has up. More hair on his legs than that one. Look at him; he's a little no. reach between his legs. So one is five days old, and one is three days old. So that one's three. That one's five. Yeah, because or two and five, or something like that. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. That one's trying to take cover. I like the first few days with baby chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I love buying big chickens, but they're never as friendly as, like, baby chicks raised by hand. Oh, you're going to peck me. I feel like it's just going to climb up there and jump down. <laughs> they're like, look at my bum. Look how cute my bum is. Sam bought this whole new kit. It's a beginner poultry kit, even though we have all the stuff. <laughs> he bought this because it was on half sale for half price. And it's blue. So he got a blue kit this time. So, I'm going to put them together. There's can the. I, can I, can I? Yeah. And it has this kind of feeder and the other kind of feeder. I love that kind of feeder. And then it even has a heat lamp. And it comes with a clip, which I really wanted a clip. So that's cool. We also got this big, huge bucket. And hopefully, Sam is going to make us a really fun chicken feeder out of it today. Hello? Oh, I love walking into the barn. My favorite place. All right. I'll have to clean that sucker. It's all dusty. Yeah. This is our home for the chickens. Our house is not big enough for baby chicks, you guys. So we have them here. And because we can close this door and then the dogs can't reach them. And also, I can plug in our lamp. Savings on my hand. Oh, poor baby. I can plug oh. this in. Get off there, little chicken. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. We this got is a really bad spot for them. This is a really bad spot for them, but this is the best spot for them. I'm gonna fix the heat lamp so that it doesn't have. All right, so there we go. I'm spending all my time today with. So Sophie's gonna spend all of her time today. It's hard to see because of the light, but we have two little baby coach and chicks. I'll send and you a this picture. Is a good enough size for them. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. <laughs> are you getting jaded, Sophie? Do you feel like everybody complains about no, no matter what you do I in know social they media? Do that. Yeah, it's fine for them. We've always used this for our chickens. And Don't move it back anymore. And uh, so. Why don't we just put them on the table? Change, yeah, change your plans. Change your plans. Oh. Change your plans and put it on the table. So they can look at the beautiful. Uh oh. They can look at the beautiful lily plant while they lounge. Uh oh, look at your your Are water. Sure red lights good for the lily plant. I don't know. Do you think they can reach that water, or we put it up too high? Um, they can reach it. I think they can reach oh, it too. Can't they die. Look how cute they are, you guys. The beginning of a new season. I love the beginning of a new season. So we're gonna work on our chicken coop this year. We're gonna maybe change where we have it and get a new one. Sophie and I have an idea of what we want to do with chickens throughout our journey. Like their chickens definitely play a part in our journey and we're excited about it. Uh, somebody asked me if I could do an update on our other babies who are over here. <laughs> so these are our chickens. I think this one definitely isn't viable, but our baby little tiny. Um, we can't even see through this one. Yeah, like, and I don't know if it's the egg that we can't I think see it through. Is the egg. Because look at it, it's this really weird color. And I think all three of these are like, they're just so thick. 
the coat of it, but I don't know how to explain it. Like they gave us one. It's so heavy. We're gonna try and candle it and show you guys. So most of these baby ones are. Yeah. Um, you can see veins. Yeah, we can see veins and stuff. I'll show you guys. Obviously, you need to candle them at night, which is an issue for us. Oh, I can't see. We can't see. We can't see. I can't update you guys. Yeah, I can't update you guys. We're not gonna lie. We really wanted a few days of baby love. And that's why we got chickens a little bit early. There's, there's food. Don't eat the shavings, please. Don't you know that you're